Hey guys, welcome to, I believe this is part 5 um, of Bootstrap and SAS. So, in the last video we did the services page. Alright, so what we have left is the blog page and the contact page, HTML. And then we can finally move on to our CSS and using SAS. Okay, so I'm going to go to our blog. We basically have the, the, um, the base structure down. We have our uh, columns, all right. So we have a main column, uh, eight column div, and then a sidebar, which is a four column div, all right. So I'm going to start in the eight, and basically we're just going to have a heading. So we'll have h2 with a class, oops, a class of page header. And I apologize, I didn't know that this was going to take this long to do all the HTML. Um, I know I could have copy and pasted, but I, I really want you to see um, what I'm doing and how I'm structuring the website. So page header, this is just going to say read our blog. And then we'll have a blog post, which will have its own div. So div class blog post and in the blog post we'll have another page header and I'm just going to give this a uh, just a sample text for a name here And then we'll have the blog, the blog image. So IMG slash, I think it was blog one. And um, actually, we want to give this image some classes. I'm going to give it a class of image small, which will just shrink it to the correct size. I'm going to give it a class of image bordered because we want it to have an image and also blog featured. All right, now we just have our intro text. Let me just grab that text. All right, and then underneath um, let's see underneath the blog post ending div we're gonna have our metadata so that the the date the author the categories so div class and it's gonna be post meta alright so we're gonna have an icon and the icon fa fa clock actually it's clock o all right so that'll be the icon for the time or the date and the time we're just going to put august 31st 2014 all right and then we'll put another icon And this one will be a user. So FA user. And that'll be the author name. And then we want the category. So we'll say folder for the icon. And we'll put graphic design web development. All right, so that is a post. All right, so we get the blog post and blog and post meta. Okay, so we just want to copy this and this. Okay, and then we'll go right under here, put a couple of these in. 
and that's pretty much it for the list of posts so if we save that okay so we have our post the images aren't, aren't showing let me just see why image blog one JPEG let me just check that oh it's a it's a PNG file so we need to change those to PNG okay so for the sidebar let's check out the blog sidebar we have tabs then we have this featured video and then we have this recent comments okay so we want to go to the the four column sidebar so we're going to have a heading here and I'm going to paste in the tab code okay so we'll start here or tab widget whatever you want to call it we have a class of tab and tab light because we want it to have that light background um, we get a UL then we have the tab panes okay you want to make sure that your href for the tab matches the ID of your div down here all right and then we have the featured video so we want to go under the tab div which starts here and ends here okay so we want to go right here and this is going to be a block and we're going to have block primary and we want notepad here as well so we're going to give it the class notepad no padding and then we have an h3 and we'll have an icon here okay so fa FA play circle featured video and then we need a block content And then inside here, I'm going to just paste in a YouTube iframe embed code. All right. So whenever we, if we have no padding, we usually use this when we want there to be a, actually, you know what? This shouldn't be block primary. It should be block primary head. Whenever we use this block primary head, we should have no padding because if you look at it, you don't want the header, this, this blue header to have padding on the sides and the top so you want no padding and then you want to set the padding to the block content div which is this because you don't want this up against the edges all right so let's see next we have the recent comments again it's going to be uh, block primary head so I'm just actually going to copy this and let me see Okay, so we'll change this here to recent comments and change the icon to uh, FA comment. All right, and then block content, get rid of the video. And for the block content, we're going to have an unordered list. And this will have a class of list comments and then we'll have LIs and inside the LI we want an image and we want our headshots 
headshot one dot jpeg and we want to make sure we give this a class and we want it to pull left because we want the image to float to the left and we also want to give it a class of image circle which will turn it into a circle all right then we want paragraph and I'm just gonna grab some text okay so that's that's good so we'll just copy this a couple more times change the headshot image all right and there we go let's take a look uh, where are we blog where is it <clears throat> did that not save oh it didn't save all right so you can see the images are very big okay so we're gonna fix all that so that's it for the blog now we want the contact page okay so we'll go to contact we already have our columns okay we have our eight column div and our four column div let's see we'll have a, a heading page heading contact us all right so we're gonna have a form and I'm gonna paste that in just to save a little time so we have a form um, and then we wrap our fields in a, a class called form group which is standard bootstrap markup uh, we have a name a phone number an email address and a message basically the same that we have on that little form that we created on the services page all right and then the the sidebar we're gonna put an address and this is gonna be a block so we want div class block and again this is going to be block primary head and notepad all right and then we're just going to have some address info I'm going to paste that in okay so we have an h3 our location which has an uh, home icon then we have our block content unordered list has the company name and the address info okay so for the contact form we also want a Google map so we want a section above the main section section class and this is going to have a, a section I mean a class called section map and I'm just going to paste in my iframe for my map okay basically it's going to be with I want it to take up the whole page so I did 1600 height 400 okay so if we save that and there's our map and our form all right so that is the HTML okay we have absolutely no CSS right now so that's what we'll do in the next video